Welcome to the Branson Woodwind Shop. I have a cornet in my shop that needs a new water key cork installed. The method for installing water key corks is the same on all brass instruments. When I replace the water key corks, I use the natural cork. Some people like the rubber or neoprene corks. The natural water key corks are usually easier to install than the rubber ones, but either one will work fine. Here's my Freeze Tools catalog, and the one I use the most is the 3 8 inch or 9.5 millimeter straight cork but it is good to have a selection of sizes for the different kinds of instruments. Sometimes water key corks come off very easily. You can just pry them off with a screwdriver. You can also use a mini torch and apply a little bit of heat to it. And then that softens up the glue and it comes right out most of the time. Often water key corks have one good side and then one side with a blemish on it. So make sure that you have the good side facing up. Usually the water key cork will be just a little bit too big to fit in the cup. So what you do is you compress it like that, rotate it and compress it a few times. It will shrink the diameter a little bit so that it will fit inside of the cup and then it will expand a little bit and it will hold inside of there firm. To hold it in I use liquid shellac. Other types of glue will work too. Just take a little bit and put it on the back of the water key cork and you just need a tiny little bit. Open the water key and install the cork and make sure that it fits inside the cup. Then to make sure that the cork is level and does not leak, take a pad slick, which is usually used for woodwind instruments, and put it on there and push down. And what that will do is it'll make sure that the pad seats over top of the water key nipple without leaking. Also open it up and take a look. There should be a ring where the cork contacts the water key nipple. For water key corks, you can also use cork pads, which are usually used on oboes. They are better quality and they last longer, but they are more expensive, so usually I only use those on the professional instruments. Here's my set of cork pads. You could need any size, but usually it's a 9mm or 9.5mm pad you'll need. And I have the thin ones, and those are usually used on the oboes. Uh, and I also have the thick ones, and those are the ones that I use on the water key corks. If you'd like to order water key corks, look in the description below for the links to where you can get some. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe for more Banished Print Repair videos.